Hello happy haunts and welcome to the Magic Kingdom. It is the first time in many, many, many months that we have had the opportunity to experience Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World in this light. Today we are maskless on Main Street for the first time in so many months. It's kind of an emotional experience right now. There's something about this that feels just long awaited and I'm so happy that I get a chance to share it with you guys because we're walking right down the middle of Main Street USA and without a mask. So come along and join me. This feels absolutely surreal. It's been such a long time since I've felt this liberated out here in the open. <laughs> it's scary and at the same time kind of a welcome change. I can tell that many people here feel the same way. There's a little bit of hesitance in the air, but at the same time, I think everyone is just so happy to feel some sense of normalcy again. In my opinion, that is a beautiful thing and I can't wait to see what the future holds. So anyway, thinking about heading over to the People Mover. See what else the day has in store for us. This is my first time back on the People Mover since it reopened, and I am thrilled that Disney is bringing the magic back in phases. So as far as I'm aware, we do need to wear our masks when we are inside on the ride. However, since the People Mover has an outdoor queue, we're still trying to figure out the rules here as we go along. I think we're good up until we get on the ride vehicle. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. And oh yeah, here we are at the People Mover, up and running again. <laughs> like, how could I forget that detail? Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Posted wait time is 45 minutes, not half bad for a Saturday. Now, it's still a little unclear as to whether we need to be wearing our masks in line, especially since most of the queue is outdoors. We'll report back with an update. I think the cast members are even trying to figure it out themselves, so I'll get back to you on that. This is the first day this rule has been implemented, so we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> When you are in line for a ride, you do have to keep your mask on. You also have to wear your mask on the rise. It's really just in common areas that you are able to take them off. That said, I think today was a fantastic day and we did a lot. It was very liberating to be able to take off my mask 
instead of feeling overheated and gross. <laughs> if you guys like what you saw here today, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel down below. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about this new mask policy at Walt Disney World. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and cheers. Have a good night, guys.